Gehrig, the Iron Horse, one of the greatest players in Yankees history. He was a six-time world champion and a seven-time All-Star with a pair of MVP awards, and he also won the 1934 Triple Crown. And of course, he had one of the most famous streaks in all of sports when he played in 2,130 consecutive games from 1925 through 1939. And that streak was stopped by the progression of aviatrophic lateral sclerosis, the disease that now bears his name. After his diagnosis, the Yankees held a day in his honor, and when Garrett stepped to the microphone, he delivered one of the most stirring speeches in American history, one revered by current-day Yankees and fans of all ages. I consider myself the luckiest man on the face of the earth. I've been in ballparks for 17 years and have never received anything but kindness and encouragement from you fans. Wouldn't you consider it privilege to associate yourself with such a fine looking man as a standing in uniform in this ballpark today. Look at these grand men. Which of you wouldn't consider it the highlight of his career just to associate with them for even one day? Sure, I'm lucky. Who wouldn't consider it an honor to have known Jacob Rupert, also the builder of baseball's greatest empire, Ed Barrow? To have spent six years with that wonderful little fellow, Miller Huggins, then to have spent the next nine years with that outstanding leader, that smart student of psychology, the best manager in baseball today, Joe McCarthy. Sure, I'm lucky. When the New York Giants, a team you would give your right arm to beat, and vice versa, sends you a gift, that's something. When everybody down to the groundskeepers and those boys in white coats remember you with trophies, that's something. And you have a wonderful mother-in-law who takes sides with you and squabbles with her own daughter, that's something. When you have a father and a mother who work all their lives so you can have an education and build your body, it's a blessing. When you have a wife who has been a tower of strength and shown more courage than you dreamed existed, that's the finest I know. So, I close in saying that I might have been given a bad break, but I've got an awful lot to live for. Thank you.